Davidson County's top election official abruptly resigned today. And only the Channel 4i team knows what led up to it. We've been investigating spending by Chairman Ron Buchanan and another top election official. The two met with the I team three days ago, but no one was prepared for what happened right in front of our camera. Here's the I team's Alana Autler. Based on a tip, we started looking into expenses made by elections administrator Kent Wall. His boss is Chairman Ron Buchanan. And when I pressed for answers on the spending, Buchanan wasn't pleased. We want to warn you the language you're about to hear is strong, but we feel it's important for you to see our questions and his answers. Could you have gone to another restaurant that perhaps was not as expensive? It was this question about dining at an upscale restaurant that made the city's top election official walk away. And after we asked another question. Can you explain the picture frame that's a $600? That's it. This is how Ron Buchanan reacted. That's exactly the bitch I thought you would be. Just in case you missed it, a question about spending prompted this. That's exactly the bitch I thought you would be. That was Friday. Today, Buchanan resigned. And it all follows a nearly two-month investigation by the Channel 4i team into purchases made on election administrator Kent Wall's Metro-issued credit card. Some of those purchases included dinners for Buchanan, and here's why those meals raise questions. First, look at this. Metro's policy reads, the use of Metro credit cards for meals at local restaurants is generally not allowable. Yet the Channel 4 I team found Wall and Buchanan racked up $123 at Sperry's, an upscale restaurant in Belmead. Speaking of Belmead, the two later ate at Sam's Place, 63 bucks. Wall also bought lunch at Katia's restaurant and Dalt's. But all these are small purchases compared to what else we found to decorate Wall's office. $140 to frame a picture of the Nashville skyline. Nearly $150 at TJ Maxx for lamps and bookends. And $614 to frame a map of Metro's districts. That purchase came after a controversial vote made by the Davidson County Election Commission. It spurred this kind of reaction from a councilman. They are trying to hold everyone hostage in the community um, by claiming if they don't get money for more internal office positions, then somehow uh, they can't run the early voting site. Eight months ago, the commission had voted to shut down 10 early voting sites, citing a budget shortfall, even though their proposed budget was a million dollars more than the year before. Eventually, the commission and council reached a compromise, and council shelled out an additional $283,500. The same month the sites were almost shut down, Buchanan and Wall ate at Sperry's. Councilman Jim Schulman, who chairs the committee that oversees public elections, wonders if that kind of spending was appropriate. Again, you're talking about government. You're not talking about private business. So the I-team requested Wall's credit card statements and other documentation. Nearly a month later, Wall announced he would retire on March 31st. Guess when the commission said we could get our information? March 31st. We requested to receive the documents earlier than that, and Buchanan and Wall agreed to meet with the I-team off camera to discuss their spending. After they explained that all their meals were about business issues, Wall wouldn't talk on camera, but Buchanan agreed to give a statement on camera. We were clear that after his statement, we still planned on asking questions. And if he doesn't want to answer that, that's fine. Watch what happens as our photojournalist adjusted the camera. Trying to get a light balance, sir. Sir, you can't touch the camera. You can't touch the camera. Mr. Buchanan, you can't touch the camera like that. That's assault on a photographer. Buchanan put his hands on the lens and said we did not have permission to turn on the camera, even though he had just agreed to give a statement on camera and knew we were going to ask questions. No, After taking a quick phone call, so Buchanan stepped like back in front of the camera. Mr. Buchanan, how do you explain certain expenses like $123 dinner at Sperry's with the, Kent Wall? The, you have asked for over 175 charges on his credit card. We provided you with every charge. You came back and asked for 25 explanations and receipts. We gave you every one of those, and we spent the last hour going through every one of those charges with you. Every one of those charges was approved by the finance director for the Davis County Election Commission, submitted to the Department of Treasury with Metro government, and paid without any question. You're the only person that has raised an issue as to any of these charges.
is it acceptable that you went to a restaurant such as Sperry's for something that was Davidson County Election Commission business? That charge was for a business meeting to discuss the budget on June 30th when the budget was approved on July 1st, and it was a very legitimate uh, purchase. Mm -hmm. Could you have gone to another restaurant that perhaps was not as expensive? That's it. <clears throat> Can you explain the picture frame? That's a six hundred dollars. That's it. That's it. That's the court. That's exactly the bitch I thought you would be. Wow. You want to say that again, Mr. Buchanan? No. You want to no. do not touch me. Do you want to say that again for the camera? No. And stop. Stop. That's Nancy DeCab, the spokeswoman for the commission. I mean, Nancy. Can you tell her? We explained that we intended to air Buchanan's reaction. I understand. And with that, DeCab followed Buchanan away from our camera. The commission is expected to go before a Metro Council committee this evening to discuss this year's elections. But Schulman says he expects some of our findings will be discussed. Buchanan initially apologized after our interaction, but he told the Tennessean today that he stands by his comments. For the Channel 4i team, I'm Alana Altler. And you can find the full exchange between Alana and Ron Buchanan on WSMV.com. You can also read his resignation letter. Mayor Megan Berry took immediate action in response to our findings. She has ordered a review of the credit card policy, not only at the Election Commission, but across all metro departments. The mayor says she sent auditors to review the commission's spending. And in the meantime, their two credit cards have been canceled. If you're an elected official or if you're an appointed official, you have to bring to bear your best self all the time and uh, the, the confidence that uh, the electorate needs in you is one where you are never belligerent or insulting or in any way demeaning to somebody who's asking you a very valid question. House Speaker Beth Harwell also called Buchanan's actions completely unacceptable. She said she agrees that Buchanan should step down. A commission spokeswoman says A.J. Starling will serve as interim chairman now until the state election commission recommends another candidate to replace Ron Buchanan.